So here we are on my Android TV device, typical home screen. We have these very large adverts at the top, covers most of the screen. We see some sponsored content. We see some promoted applications. But watch what happens now when I press the home button on my device. And we are instantly taken to this new custom launcher where I can see all of my favorite applications. I can customize the tiles. I can create more sections. Of course, without seeing any sponsored applications, without seeing any sponsored content, I can now fully customize my home screen. For example, I don't like the wallpaper. One click, click on wallpaper. Let's say I'm looking for some animal wallpaper. One click, and we are now using this new animal wallpaper. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this new launcher on all of your Android TV devices, as well as Amazon. So your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs can use this launcher and use it to launch all of your favorite applications again without seeing any more amazon adverts all you need to do is just hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started. if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you so i'll do the first part of my demonstration on my android tv device which is the chromecast with google tv but you can follow the process for any other Android TV device. Now F Launcher, which is the name of this application, you may already find in your Google Play Store, but if not, I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions at the end of this video on how you can get this on all of your Android devices. Now, when you first start the launcher, it will look like this. I mean, it already just looks a lot cleaner. It reminds me a bit of the Apple TV interface. We have nice clean looking tiles. And at the top, we have non uh, TV applications. And here we have your standard TV applications. Now to customize it, we go over to the settings. You can click on this. In fact, let's look at the wallpaper because that really is a nice feature with this application. So if you click on that, so not only can you choose gradients, so I can go to gradients. Let's say I'm looking for uh, this uh, African field. Click on that, press back a few times. And we have that nice looking gradient wallpaper. Let's go back again, back to wallpaper. Now you can also click on custom and browse to wallpaper if you've already downloaded something. But personally, I think if you go to Unsplash, we now have a massive list of different categories of wallpaper. So if I'm interested in uh, plants, click on that. This will then automatically load some plant wallpaper in the background. And the great thing is you can click on it again and that will then change to something else. Uh, let's go to landscapes. Yeah, I mean, you've got some fantastic looking wallpapers here. I'm just clicking on it again and again, just to show you that it's loading different wallpapers in the background. I mean, how nice does that look? But the last thing you can do with wallpapers is you can even search Unsplash for wallpapers. So I can click on wallpaper, click on Unsplash, and at the top where it says search, let's click on that. And let's say I'm searching for um, forest. Okay, let's click on search. And we now get some really nice looking forest wallpapers. Uh, let's go for this one here. So it's not too intrusive. I mean, that in itself, guys, I think is a superb feature with this application that not only can you just access a massive library of wallpapers online, you can even search for a specific wallpaper and one click, bring that directly onto your device. Okay, so that's the wallpaper. We can now go to uh, settings. Let's click on categories. Now, I personally prefer a cleaner looking home screen, so I don't necessarily want to see every application on my device. So what you can do, for example, is create a new category. Let's say we call this one streaming. Let's click on OK. That's now created. Uh, let's create another one for um, games. That's also created. And lastly, let's just do one for tools or utilities So, or utils. Of course, you can create many categories as you like. You can call them what you like. And you really can go ahead and customize this and get it looking exactly how you like it. Let's click on OK. OK, so we have three new categories, which are all empty. I'm going to remove the other two. So if you click on the cogwheel, let's click on the cogwheel next to TV applications. And I'm going to select delete. That's now gone. I'm going to click on the same thing for non TV applications. So we now have three new sections. I can now press the back button. I can now go to applications. 
And this now shows you all of the applications on your device. And I can now quickly add them into those categories. So this one here, I'm gonna click on the plus. Let's click on add to utils. That's done. Apple TV, let's add that to streaming. Uh, this racing game, let's add that to games. Uh, this uh, button mapper, let's add that to utils. Crossy Road, let's add that to games. And uh, let's just add in a couple more. So let's add in uh, Netflix. Let's add that to streaming. You can see guys, super fluid, super easy to use. You quickly can go and find all of your applications that you're interested in. Of course, you can also hide applications if you don't want to see anything on your home screen. Let's add in my cash cleaner to utils. And lastly, let's add in explore to utils. And let's also do YouTube into streaming. Now if I press back a few times, you can see that the home screen now looks looks quite clean, but you can see the tiles are quite big. Now, depending on your personal preference, maybe you have a very large TV or maybe you have some you know, eyesight issues, you can of course customize these as well. So if I go back into settings, back at the top, go back into categories. Let's say we want to customize the streaming category. Let's click on the cogwheel. And you can see now you can firstly customize the sorting Either you can have manual sorting, which shows all of the applications added in the order that they're added in. And you can also do alphabetical, but let's leave that as manual. Now you can also change the type from row to grid. So grid will make them a lot smaller, but let's leave that as row for a second. And you can now customize the row height. So by default, this is set to 110. But if you wanna make it smaller, let's do 80. And you can see then the tiles are made a lot smaller. And if you want them even more smaller, we change this to grid. And you can now change the column count to a high number. And that means they'll be really small. So again, you can see very, very easy to customize. I personally go for eight, which is a good size for me. Let's go back. And you now have a super clean looking home screen where all of the applications that you regularly access are here. They're all accessible. And anything that you open, let's open up uh, explore. You can use the application, you can press back a few times, and when you access the app, you will stay inside the custom launcher. And that's something that's very specific to the Amazon devices because as you know, on those devices, we can't use the home button anymore. But once you start this application, you can use it to launch all of your favorite applications. And once you've finished in the app, if you just press back a few times, you'll then stay in your custom launcher. I mean, how nice and clean does that look guys? And of course, no more sponsored content, no more large screen adverts on the home screen. We just have a much cleaner, snappier looking home interface. So that's the application on my Android TV device. Let me now jump over to my Amazon Fire TV Cube. So here we are on my Amazon Fire TV Cube. Here is the application, one click. We're inside the custom launcher. We can see how I organize my applications here. And it's just really fast guys, really smooth really snappy and of course none of that amazon sponsored content and again when you open up an app let's open up downloader you can use the app once you're finished when you press back back again we stay inside the custom launcher now on the amazon devices as we can't use the home button i personally recommend either using launch on boot which i have covered before alternatively you can just go to your applications find f launcher Press the context key, the one with the three lines, select move to front. Now when you press the home key, we can now see we have the launcher directly accessible here. So you can stay in there, you can launch your applications. If for a reason you do need to go to the home button because you want to access some Fire TV settings, you can press the home key, access the content, and you can then open up the launcher again. Or of course you can always customize these media buttons like Netflix or like Disney Plus and use them to launch your custom launcher, which I have covered before. Now to get this on all of your Amazon devices, just open up Downloader, make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. Now when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new F launcher on all of your devices. As you can see, this is an open source alternative for Android TVs, but also works great on your Amazon devices. 
no ads. You get to customize it, customize those categories, wallpaper support, and it just looks like a, a really nice looking launcher. Keep scrolling down. Underneath all of that, we'll have a few links. So this is the main link for the application. Now, if you want to use Launch on Boot, you can download that here. And also, if you want to see the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can remap the media buttons, like the Netflix one or the Disney Plus, you can read the article there. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this launcher. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.